What's good, Wave Gang? It's your boy, AP Waves, back with another video, man. And as you can see, we got the little miles here. We're not doing the opening in this video, but I just know that you guys haven't seen Miles in a while. And I wanted to get him on the video because last time he was here, he was so cute. And he's always cute. What's good, way gang? It's your boy, AP Waves. And I hope that you guys enjoyed that little opening. I figured you guys missed Miles a little bit. And since this video is going to be about the Spider-Man of MCOC, shout out to Miles over here. And shout out to my Miles on the intro, you feel me? So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button because what cuter intro is there than that? But this video could go long if I don't get started right now and I don't like dropping super long videos because it's hard to really pay attention to the end if I'm just in here rambling. So, without further ado, as you guys know, or you should know if you're following the channel, uh, your boy went on a spider ranking up spree after Cyber Weekend. Now, we took Miles Morales to rank three. We took Stark Spider-Man to rank three. We took Spider-Gwen to rank three, and we already had Stealth Suit Spider-Man at rank three. And as you guys know, or you should know if you do know, but if you don't know, there are nine Spider-Man characters, Spider-Man specifically, in this game. I'm not talking about the Spider-Verse champions because there's plenty of villains and there's plenty of, you know. But we are going to talk. Actually, let me let me filter a little. Can we filter by tags? Um, let's see. Let me make it a little bit easier. If there's a Spider-Verse tag, Spider-Verse heroes, confirm. Bam, here we go. I am a genius. That made this so much easier. I'm actually not really a genius. Um, don't make fun of me in the chat. Um, now, there are, are nine. Um, I don't have Penny Parker, okay? So, disclaimer, but I also have, have a, I feel like I have a good feeling and a good feel for the game in itself, okay? So, without actually having uh, Penny, Penny Parker, I think I could still make a pretty decent, um, you know, judge for this list. And if you guys disagree, feel free you know, keep it respectful because, you know, that's how the wave game does it. But I've already talked enough and I haven't started talking about the first champion. Now, the number nine champion out of the Spider Spider-Man characters is OG Spider-Man. Not really much to say about him. Pretty basic, basic animations, basic abilities, basic, basic, basic. It should be called Spider-Man basic. Now we're moving on. We're not spending too much time on him. It is what it is. Number the number eight spider-man champion in this game and mind you if I get to the end and there's only there's only eight and not nine the numbering might be off but we'll just bump everybody a spot forward but cuz you know we're kind of kind of spitballing here number eight we'll say for right now spider-man symbiote he's almost 100% uh, now I do believe there's slight differences between him and the OG spider-man but it's not even enough to, 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 you know, matter. I put him a spot above just because simply he looks cooler. Now, now we're moving on. And this is where there might be some controversy, okay? Um, is the fact that this champion is technically low on the list. But it's still a very good champion overall. Okay, so there's the disclaimer before we go on to the next champion. And I like this champion a lot, okay? Don't get me wrong. Um, it was, was my third rank three champion, I believe. Yes, I believe uh, Stealthy was my third or fourth, one or two. I ranked three him very early on in my process of rank three champions. But what diff what separates him from... Spider Gwen and that and, and and I must let you know um, Spider Gwen is the champion that I was arguing with with myself back and forth who should go in the seventh slot. He goes here because simply and this is as simple as it gets. His slow needs you to get a full five hit combo and Spider Gwen slow 
only needs a heavy, okay? Um, and once you run out of the five chargers for um, Stealth Suit Spider-Man, you have to get a special three off to refresh the chargers to apply the slows. Spider-Gwen, simply, why she is at six is because her slow debuff is stronger. Now, there might be some people out there who think there's more reasons to Spider-Gwen to be a spot higher than Stealth Suit Spider-Man on here, but ultimately, that was my reasoning. Um, I do believe Stealth Suit Spider-Man has better damage, um, but Spider-Gwen, her slow is very, very reliable. It's easier to chain the the uh, her heavies than it is to go through a bunch of five hit combos for stealthy and even though i say five hit combo stealthy's combos end up like seven hits or something it doesn't matter it's irrelevant from the fact of the matter i have spider gwen at slot number six now now this is where it gets good Granted, it's good from the get-go for me because I love the Spider-Verse characters and it's exactly why there are a bunch of rank threes on my on my account. Now, number five, though. As much as I wanted to put this champ higher because I definitely feel that he is super underrated and underappreciated in today's meta. I am so happy to have this champion as a six-star and I would love to absolutely love to awaken him from um from these crystals these uh feature crystals uh he's number five man and this is this is with the disclaimer that the, the top five spider-man characters in this game are pretty freaking good they are pretty good i still believe that dark spidey is in the upper tier of tech characters in this game he has a stun he has like a truck he has an evade. He has a power drain. It's just, dude, the only issue with this guy is he's a little old. He's a little, his mechanics are a little outdated, but they still put in work. You pull, if you pull a stealth, stealth suit Spider-Man as your first five star on a new account, you're doing just fine. And he is going to help you get through act five and so on and so forth. I feel like Act 6 and 7's nodes are a little niche for him at the moment. And it's harder to find uses for him in the end, the upper end of the end game content. You know, but the dude is still a beast and he doesn't get the respect that he deserves. Now, number 4 is the champion that I don't currently have. Now, some people could think differently and have a totally different opinion. Let's put some respect on her name and at least showcase the six star, even though we don't have her. Um, I think she's a fantastic defender. I don't know much about her. Um, I don't. You don't see her used a lot as an attacker, and I and I deducted points for that. Okay, fair warning. Now, if it comes out. And if there's other people's videos, go ahead and feel free to let me know down in the comments who has good Penny Parker gameplay videos. Uh, there's not, there's not a huge like, you know, chatter around her other than being a defender. So I, fair warning, I did deduct points and I ended up slotting her in at number four. Okay, now number three in my opinion, this is this is where the list gets kind of tricky. I got Spider Ham. The dude has some good abilities. Um, I just think that when it comes to the actual sheer damage output is where he starts to come up a little short. Like, don't get me wrong, his porker poppers and, you know, the debuffs that he applies and that, that power sting damage that he does is one thing. Um, and, and it's 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 nice, but but what if, what if somebody shrugs off debuff what if somebody is debuff immune you know you start factoring in those things and the damage really starts to slow up a bit okay so i do think that he's a very like the reason why i give him the edge you guys can see i put a little bit of thought into this list right here this ain't no game you guys know i got the info for it but okay back to the point uh the reason why i gave him the edge over Penny Parker is a we have a little bit more gameplay on him and B he's a good defender and he can get you through 
key nodes. I'm not saying Penny Parker can't, but it's a proven fact that Spider-Ham can get you through key fights in Act 7 and Act 6. Right now, the jury is still out, and if Penny Parker is proven to be a, an equally a good attacker, she can easily slot in here at number 3. But as of right now, we got my boy Spider-Ham. And this is the top 2 of the Spider-Man class. Let me stop the video right now. Guys, don't cheat. Let me know what order of 2 and 1 do you think that I have. Now, that being said, drum roll is, is here and gone. Because Spider-Man Miles Morales, in my opinion, is the second best spider character in this game. The dude's damage, especially when he's SIG 200, is fantastic. He has a taunt on his heavy. He applies shocks. He applies weakness. He has a rupture debuff that he can add. He has a ter amazingly fun playstyle. His damage can get through the roof if you know his rotation. And he automatically misses unblockable specials. Do you know how useful that is? Like, are, if we sit back and, and just take a look at the utility that Spider-Man Miles Morales has packed in, plus the damage that he is applying, we really got to start putting some respect on Spider-Man Miles Morales' name, okay? The man is right here on the poster for a reason. The man is on that poster for a reason. Miles Morales is like that, okay? Shout out to Xander Scar. He knows that I'm the, the, the Miles Morales mascot or Miles Morales is my mascot, however you want to say it. But we just let him rock with it. No harm, no foul. But in my opinion, Spider-Man Miles Morales is the second best spider champion in this game. Now... That takes the suspense right out of the window. And we have to talk about the champion that I want more than any other champion in this game. The champion that I am going for the feature crystals for. And that is Spider-Man 2099. Some of you might think I'm gassing because some of you might still go off of the false narrative of this champion not being a good champion. Does he need to be SIG 200? Yes, his damage benefits greatly, greatly from being SIG 200. But without a doubt, undoubtedly, I, that's the same thing. Without a doubt and undoubtedly are pretty much the same exact thing. But this dude is one of the best Alliance War boss killers in the game. Shout out to Karate Mike because his videos really put me on to how good this champion is. And when I say... When I say that if I get this champion, he might be my first rank four. I said it. I want this champion so bad. He's an amazing boss killer. He literally just shreds mojos. Shreds mojos, bro. He's he's amazing. Mind you, he's also the coolest looking spider champion in this game. And if you guys disagree, let me know down in the comments. Let me know where I went wrong on this list. But if you did enjoy... Please hit the like button. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And that's going to be your boy AP Waves out.